I was uh, in a way uh, relieved because we've been asking uh, for this inquiry for eight years and I was really relieved to, I was shocked first of course because uh, it's very dangerous poison, that's what they discovered, but I was relieved that we are on steps of knowing the truth. But it was not in my hands. Uh, his body was uh, already in Ramallah and uh, nobody thought to do an autopsy. Uh, we had uh, complete confidence in the French doctors that they've done everything they could to, to save his life. But I think they did not have the means of nuclear uh, research at the time. It's very difficult. It's very difficult now to judge until that ha they have to be a very deep inquiry about uh, this. But you would think who would have access to nuclear elements? You know, not ho the whole world has access to nuclear elements. Uh, we have to make a, a more profound and deep investigation uh, to know all the truth about his death. Uh, the Persian leadership and President Mahmoud Abbas is ready. Uh, to go ahead and uh, I'm so proud that they took, uh, they are backing me in this uh, and, and thankful that they are ba backing me in this uh, inquiry to know the truth about the death of Arafat. Less of a profile for the individuals. Right, That's yeah, what I was meaning. Very much soon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get along, you'll fall in soon. <laughs> CBS is on the decline. So after eight years, it would have decayed to about one two millionth of the original concentration. So there'd be a lot less radioactivity coming out of it now than there would have been when put in. But the detectors for radiation are very, very sensitive. Uh, it would still be a lot higher than the naturally occurring very low background level. So you'd still be able to detect that he had polonium in his body, I would say with pretty high confidence. Uh, I think uh, this was denied uh, uh, very strongly by the Israeli uh, uh, authorities, uh, which at that time at least did not have interest politically uh, to eliminate Arafat, which was in a very weak position. Uh, he did not uh, make uh, uh, the right decisions and uh, practically he was ostracized by the United States and uh, most of the democratic countries. حركة حماس أول من أكد على ضرورة إجراء تحقيق جدي في مقتل الشهيد ياسر عرفات ولا سيما أنه بدأ بالفعل يعني اغتيال وحادثة مدبرة وليس موتا عرضيا وبالتالي البحث عن الحقيقة في مقتل الشهيد ياسر عرفات هذا واجب وطني وواجب قومي وواجب عربي وبالتالي من الضرورة بمكان أن تتضافر كل الجهود الفلسطينية والعربية حتى يتم بالفعل كشف حقيقة وكيفية اغتيال الشهيد ياسر عرفات ومن يقف وراء هذه الجريمة. إذا فتح الراديو حتلاقي البطارية سفر ذاك الشيء جميل. إذا فتح الراديو حتلاقي البطارية.